Good morning everybody, how are we today? Um, lovely day here, it's nice and warm and a little bit misty, so the, uh, the lawn's enjoying the weather I think. Hey Bob, oh you're not really allowed it there are you? Here she is, where have you gone? Oh I've switched it off, oh 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 she's, oh she's, oh Gary sees that, she's in trouble. Hiya, put a blanket down there for you. Oh, come round to see me. Hello Bobby. Hello, sweetie. So welcome to the Half Yard Club if you haven't been here before. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the club in just a second. And um, yeah, let me know if you're thinking about joining, if you've just joined, if you're going to join today, if it's the first time you've been here on one of my lives and are you sewing along with us today? Um, who have we got? So on YouTube, we've got Anna, Julia and Alison. Hello. And uh, Shelley, Janet, Alison, Yvonne, and Sazil. So if I miss anybody, Carol's in Adelaide, Australia. Hello, Therese and Leslie. Oh, your messages are coming like this. Well, um, Daryl, Jane, Therese, and put a cobweb. Only cleaned the other day. And on Facebook, we have um, hi Sarah and Pauline. I've got your question for sewing. Um, so uh, same, same as Sunday tomorrow. And uh, Pauline, Kay, hello, Jan, Jean, Eva, Julie, Julian, Janice, Lord, everybody, with, uh, all the Julies and Janices all come together. Um, Alison, another J with a Jan, and Sally, and Loris. Um, I got a cold sore. Oh, hi Claire, hi Sue, hi Caroline, hi Yvonne. I could spend an hour doing this, couldn't I? Hello, Helen, Melissa, um, Debbie Gorman and Sue, and Pauline, Jackie, Dawn. I'm going to miss a few of you, I know. So. This is what we're going to make, and that's that's my materials list. I did change my mind after I'd actually made this because I thought I, you asked for a needle case. You've got a needle case with two pages in it. Then I thought we'd do a little bit extra and put a zip pocket in a pocket and another couple of pockets over here, and we've got big pockets on the outside which you could divide if you wanted to. But this one I made with a magnetic snap, and then afterthought was actually I think it would have been better with a ribbon. I think the snap gets in the way a little bit. So I did say in the ingredients list that it's going to be ribbon instead of snap so hopefully hopefully you pick that up if you're sewing along with me hi Olive Linda and uh, and Susan and Karen Wendy hello Linda Sophie Sunny in where are you oh the, <laughs> the create and craft festival I should call it that I'll tell you more about that later on um, no Pam I didn't next and um, hello Zakaya from Michigan, um, Sharon, Teresa, Marilyn, dull in Somerset this morning. I don't mind a bit of dull, to be honest, after all the baking heat we've had. Um, I don't know what she was out falling asleep. It's Kevin. Oh, Margaret, I'm glad you're better. Jade in North Lincolnshire. Stephanie's got pink parcel. Um, right. Half Yard Club. We've been going for um, almost three years now, and um, there's thousands of you all over the world that are our club members um, so if you so if you first time along or if you're if you're not too sure let me explain a little bit about what it is basically we have a subscription website called the half yard sewing club and every month you will have a project a main project which will have downloadable step-by-step -step instructions patterns if necessary and a video and the project can be anything i shall show you the project can be anything from um, quilting projects, dressmaking, homewares, um, bag making, cushions. We've done curtains. We've all all, all kinds of stuff. Um, let me just go back to the home page and show you. So this is it. I'm not actually signed in at the moment, but if you want to join, you go to halfyardsewingclub.com and then click on join today. As you go through to the payment section, and that will be £5.99 a month or $9.99, or you can have a whole year's membership with a discount of two months free, so that's £60 for a year or $99, or whatever currency it is in wherever you are, because this is worldwide. And when you go through to checkout, then you just put the code WELCOME in capital letters, and you get a free month where you can take a look at all of the projects that we have here. So, oh, I need to sign in first, don't I? Here we go. So these are your projects. So when you first join, you'll have two years worth of projects. We take the projects down after two years, and those will include the July, which is the overnight bag, um, 
the Heart of Plique boxes was the secondary project. I'll talk about that in just a second. You'll have the Hawaiian pillow, there's your curtains. Um, you'll have a tool belt. You'll have a, a reversible hat. You'll have a skirt that's made to measure. Um, these are uh, th these are all yours for your first five pounds ninety ninth or ninety nine dollars. There's the doll's house. The doll's house figures. I've got a sewing machine pincushion, a bow tie. So you can see that there's a really varied amount um, or styles of different sewing. So I'm sure there's going to be something for absolutely everybody. So the first day you join, you have access to all of these. Now, once a month, you will have the video with the project. And then halfway through the month, you'll have a secondary project that doesn't have the video. But on top of all of that, you have hints and tips and techniques. Some of these are video, some of them are not. So pattern matching, sewing with viscose. Um, there's a whole section on um, making a shirt from start to finish, basically, in different sections. Um, adjusting patterns, different types of hand stitching, a little bit of embroidery. So that's your hints and tips. What, what I also like is the um, ask a member. And you ask a question and somebody will answer. Maybe me, maybe one of the team, or most often it's, it's one of you. So lots and lots of questions are on there as well. Now, you're also going to get, apart from all of those projects, oh, I don't know why I did that. That's a bit odd, isn't it? Let me just do that. That's better. <laughs> apart from all of those projects, you're going to have a block of the month as well. And we don't take those down after two years. So this was last. Are we, I think we might have been over four years. This is last year's block of the month. All of these quilts are designed by my friend, Melissa Naylor, who's an amazing um, quilt designer. So this is seminal patchwork. So you'll have access to that. And oh, this is the one previous to that, which I think is upside down. So you've got lots of different techniques in this one from foundation paper piecing, English paper piecing, um, rolled edge of plique, raw edge of plique, lots, lots of different techniques in that one. So you'll have that one the first day you join. You'll have the very first one that we did which is all half square triangles. So you'll have that one. And then the current one, actually, but within just a second, I just want to show you this one, um, is a Christmas one, which I haven't got with me. I, I think it's, I think it's been modeling, um, which is this one. And your block for August, which is on Monday, are these three stars. So that's one block. So the idea with this one is that you make up the whole quid, or you make all, all the different blocks, there are 11 of them, and the 12th month is actually making them into a quilt. So you've got a quilt that's ready for Christmas. So that's an idea of your projects that are coming up. Thank you, Jane. She says, Half Yard Club is the best money I've ever spent, and it's amazing. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And I know the girls read this as well. We're, we're, we're quite a big team. Um, we have, um, oh, Sharon says it's the best thing ever. Um, we have Caroline, who, whose idea it was, manages the whole thing, and of course myself. And then Kim is involved as well, my daughter. And we have Emily, who is my editor. Then we have Betsy, who's a proofreader. Then we have Claire and Sophie, who are marketing. So they'll be sending you out your, your monthly emails and, and putting posts on Instagram and things like that. And then we have Emma, who um, digitizes my patterns as well. So we're, we're quite, a, quite a big professional team. Um, good morning, everyone. Looking forward to the today's project. Loving the Harfield. Fantastic value, says Darren. Thank you. Uh, morning, says Ellen from Billingham. Just renewed my membership for another year. Enjoying it so much. Thank you very much for that. You've no idea how much we appreciate it. Everybody who's involved in the club is just so, so passionate about it. It really does feel like a, a community, particularly with the Ask a Member option where you can kind of communicate to each other as well. Um, the Lives and Half Yard Club and the Shop are fantastic, says Mary. Thank you. Pamela hasn't started a Christmas quilt yet. We're working on next year's at the moment. Um, oh, where did you get the, the, the grey sewing caddy to my left? Oh, this one. Um, it's not made anymore, I'm afraid. We did sell them on the website, but um, Corbon stopped making them for some reason. I don't know why. Hi, Deirdre. Hello, Jackie. Um, hello, Jennifer and Sue. So I'm going to flick down to the bottom. So I know I've missed a few of you. I'll tend to, I'll go back later. Debbie says, Half Yard Club is fantastic. Help my sewing confidence. 
if you're thinking of joining just do it thank you Linda says we're a lovely group next year's block I can't tell you Amanda at the moment it's just too soon because uh, Melissa's um, she's actually made the, the the complete quilt top as a quilt as you go I'll tell you that much um, but it's uh, she exceeds herself every year it's so exciting it's huge as well I hold I held it up for a photo and I was on tiptoes it's that big it's lovely um, Carol says half yard club is the bee is that the bee's knees thank you very much Laverne's in a sewing room with the copper. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions about the Half Yard Club, come and ask now. I can't guarantee I'm going to see all of the questions because they're scrolling so quickly. Um, Sue says it's great, thank you. Um, or if you do have any questions that you think about after, or if you have any problems, some people to forget to put the welcome code in, or you forget your email address or something like that, just get in touch with the team. It's info at halfyardsewingclub dot com and it'll probably be Sophie or Claire or Caroline who get back to you about that I don't deal with the admin that's all to do with the, the half yard club team which is search press who are my my publishers so I do the creative bit I do this bit I do the sewing I do the projects I come up with the ideas they do all of the admin um, when would you be putting the block and kit next month then is it Jane yes it'll go on in January Jane you might get a teaser November December time and I will be doing some kits for it as well. Hello, Brian Hoover. Right. Um, hello, Jana in Slovalia. Linda's just joined the club. Welcome along. <laughs> um, next month, which is only on Monday, it's um, outfits for Maddie and Robin. So if you haven't seen Maddie and Robin before, um, they're rag dolls. They're rather large. They're about 22 inches uh, in height. Those are another project that don't come down because Maddie's over two years old now, so really she shouldn't be there. But we've kept her going because she's been so popular. So th they've got little onesies on, as I'm scooting back. So Maddie's got rabbit ears on hers, and Robin's got um, teddy bear ears, but you could make cat ears or dog ears or elephant ears if you wanted to. And there will be a video for that as well. Um, hi, Janet. I'll be right back, she's off. Helen says, I signed up half your same club when it first started. I really enjoy the club and the items you make and inspirations are so great value for money. Thank you. Amanda, as soon as, as soon as that gingerbread apron comes back in stock, it's gone. So if you put your name on the waiting list, you'll receive an email to say it's there. So do hundreds of other people and they, they just go. So we've got some more coming in, hopefully early next week. I'm not sure how many are actually left at the wholesalers at the moment, but we should get some more in next week. Yes, I'm sorry about that. So you, you get the email and I've had so many emails from people just saying, you said it's back in stock and it's not. So it, it was actually, but it's gone again. Sharon's made Maddie this week. Put pictures. Oh, I'll tell you what you can do on the website on Half Yard Club. Let's have a search for Maddie. So, oh, just get my keyboard up. Wait with me a second. So pop Maddie in there and down here you can put your pictures we only have room for nine i'm afraid that's just the way that the website's built but these are your pictures of your maddies oh we've got a whizzy circle doesn't that drive you mad come on not letting me do it. i can't get your names up but these are the maddies that you've made pretty dresser she's oh that one's got a fringe look nice idea now, Maddie's hair, I was just thinking that the one with the fringe, it looks like it's been made like Robin's hair. Robin has a different style of hair to Maddie. Oh, look at her. <laughs> oh, what? wow. Oh, these are gorgeous. I love looking at your pictures. Oh, so pretty. So that's Maddie. Let's have a look at um, Robin. Um, where is he? Robin's day outfit. Robin's wizard outfit, where's Robin? Ro Robin is Maddie, basically, but with slightly different expression. And he's also got, um, as I said, his hair is a, a different um, way of doing the hair than Maddie is. So that may be quite interesting for you. Let's see if I can find him. R-O-B-Y-N. Mm, there we go. Um, there he is. 
So it's made up in just the same way, apart from the hair and the expressions. That's a mop of hair. I love him. I love that cheeky smile he's got. It's so cute. So the curly hair, oh, there's the pair of them. Oh, he's got highlights. Oh, another look at that. That's a clever way of doing it. Luby Lou from Andy Pandy. Oh, I remember that, um, Jenny. <laughs> Jenny says she really wants to make it. Um, I wanted to keep him, and well, both of them actually quite um, big for two reasons. I didn't want it to be a kind of fiddly to make, um, you know, with skinny legs that you need to turn through or anything like that. And you can also dress them in like baby tights and socks for six to 12 months fit Maddie perfectly well. Amanda's going to make Robin for her friend's boy. Anyway, should we do some sewing? Shona can't get in, never the half yard club, she says. Right, so I've, I've put all the measurements on Facebook. If you, if you scroll down to previous posts, you should have a list of all of the measurements there, um, if you're not sewing along. Um, and I did message, I sent out a message on YouTube to everyone that subscribes. Sometimes they don't all come through. Um, I don't think so, so I don't think I've got time to go to the quilt show. Sarah says, best club ever, so much value for money. Join, join, join. But if you're watching using subtitles, it's not a yacht club. It's not what it is. <laughs> I quite fancy joining a yacht club. <laughs> oh, Dominica made a pillowcase from the Project Block 6. Oh, I'll have a look at that later on. Um, no pattern well, for this, Lydia. No pattern for this one. We're just going to we're going to make it up as we go. I'll give you the, the measurements briefly in inches because that's what I work in. If that helps, I don't know whether I'm going to have time to actually make um, a dedicated video of this one. I won't be able to today. Love your top, brain and fingers typing, not in unison. <laughs> I didn't see the first one. Now then, so here we go. So the front and the back. I've called one lining, although on this one I, I used um, a plain fabric. On this one I'm going to use pattern for both. So I've got one, I'm going to call this one the lining, and that one the outer. And these two pieces measure, actually I need to remeasure that because I forgot, I think it was 12 inches. Yep, 12 inches by 7 inches. So those are going to go back to back and I'm using some H630 fusible fleece in between the two. Um, you do need, oh thank you Julie Jones, you do need some kind of interfacing, otherwise you're just gonna have a floppy case, but it could be the kind of dressmaking interfacing that you, um, that you use for um, collars and stands and things like that. Um, it could, like G700, that kind of thing, um, or, sorry, just bear with me a second. Um, or if, if you've got something like a Decaville light, that would be another one as well. Right, um, so that's that. Now on the outside, there's one big long pocket that goes all the way around the outside. And that's two pieces of outer fabric, so they measure 12 inches by 4 inches, I'm thinking. We rule it the right way around, that's 4 inches. And then on the inside, there's going to be a zipped pocket. So I have two outer pieces and two lining pieces. And they both measure seven inches by, ruler the right way around again, by four inches again. So those are going to go there. And then two outer pieces measuring seven inches by four inches for this side, <coughs> excuse me. And then my felt pieces to go on the inside here are nine inches and six and a half by four and a half inches that way. So sorry if you missed all of that, if it was a little bit quick. But um, again, if you have a look on the Facebook page, on the Half Yard Club Facebook page, um, everything's written down there. And of course, I've got a zip and I've got my ribbon to fasten it as well. So first thing I'm going to do is to fuse my fleece to the wrong sides of the two large pieces of, of fabric. Then we'll do the zipped pocket. So let me just bring up my iron and we'll give that a press. 
just on the one side you don't need to put these on both pieces of fabric so you might have cut that down to size already oh Laura the returning product how did you know that I didn't think they announced that till the first birthday but I, I did actually bring him I, I'll show you while that warms up I did actually bring him out um, after I saw your message but he's, he's been at the bottom of the drawer and is a bit covered in bits of fabric but that's birthday bear there there will be every month one project that comes back so remember i was saying the projects are all taken down after two years um we bring one back and he actually is one of my favorites um i'm not going to be able to do a kit laura but i can get hold of some nice felt to make him with i'll see if i can get some smaller pieces maybe i think they do 22 centimeters square something like that which would be plenty big enough to make him with so i'll see if i can get some of those but i haven't got time to to get kits put together Right, that should be warm enough now, so we'll just place that on there. If you've got a sew-in, it doesn't really matter. And do you know, because I can't remember, I think it's a month. Um, you could use a 505 spray to adhere it, or if you have something like felt, just felt will work absolutely fine. Um, and again, use a bit of 505. You don't have to use a 505. It just makes it easier if it's stuck to the fabric when you're turning this the right side out. That's the only reason for that. Um, no, I don't have magnets in the shop, I'm afraid, Brenda. Sorry. Oh, that's, that's another thing. Um, if you are a member of the Half Yard Club, you get 10% discount on my website. And I just want to... Um, stress that the Debbie Shaw sewing website is a completely different business to the Half Yard Sewing Club. So you do get a discount and when you go to the club and look under my blog you'll see a discount code and you can use that on my website. But I quite often have some of you emailing saying that you've used the welcome code on my website, that's not going to work. Or you've used the password from the Half Yard Club and you can't get onto my website. They're completely different websites so that's probably why. Yes, Brenda, that's next month's projects. She said, Maddie and Robin have got new outfits. They certainly have. OK, so I've got that. You may have fused that together already if you're, if you're sewing along at home. Thank you, Dawn. So that's going to be the inside of my case. So it'll fold over like that. So let's do the zip to go on there. So I've got two of the outer and two of the lining pieces. And I'm going to sew the zip in between. These are actually Fisker's scissors. Um, who was that? Maria. They are ergonomic. They're really good ones. So I'm going to do these in four stages. I know my zip's way too long. I'm not going to explain why again. Oh, I well, may as well. Uh, I think I said to use an 8-inch zip. This one was actually an 18-inch zip, and I cut it down to size. Um, but it means that I d I'm not sewing around this slider. It's out of the way. I'm not s risking sewing over any of the stops, because that could break your needle. And I just find it easier to do that. So I tend to have um, a stash of long zips that I can cut down to the size that I want to. And it's not actually that wasteful when you're talking pennies. So that's just going to go down there. I'm just going to move the needle over to the left hand side so I can sew this in without putting the zipper foot on. And sew straight down the side. If you wanted to pin that in place or if you have a, um, a fabric glue stick then that would work. And I do like to sew these individually because now when I put the second half of this on, I can see where the stitches are if I sew from this side. So I'm just going to line up those edges and sew down here. Have we got anybody sewing along? Um, I'd, I've tried sharpening my scissors with tin foil, as is recommended, and it, it seems to work. But I'd suggest, you know, if it's your, if they're expensive scissors, that um, every now and again you take them to a, a professional, a lot of hardware stores will sharpen scissors for you. A block you put your scissors in. No, I've not tried one of those. You kind of 
put the scissors in and drag them along the, the blade, don't you? Not, I've not actually tried one of those. Um, we'll not be able to see if the at least three weeks new kitchen arriving next week. Ooh, we, have, we had a new kitchen fitted a couple of years ago, you know, we don't like it. I must have told you before, we had, um, I chose some very pale grey doors and my kitchen fitter actually said, um, I don't, I don't think they look good in, in the pale. I think they should be a little bit darker. And I thought, OK, I'll trust you. We'll go for the darker. Should have gone for the pale. And then we looked at how much it would cost to have them repainted, and it was about £2,500. So we've still got dark kitchen cupboards. Because <laughs> um, that's ever so exciting, having a new kitchen, and they cost a fortune. And then we're like, oh, don't like it. Um, I'll just scroll down a bit. I think I've been a little bit behind on Facebook. Right. Apparently the Fisker scissor treater, treater. Sharpener works a treat. So that's up where I am so far. So I've got the zip in between two pieces of fabric here. And then the second pieces of fabric are going to go here. So the zip's trapped in between the two pieces. So who's that? I love Debbie's techniques make difficult things so easy. Things, particularly zips, people tend to be a little bit wary of. But once you've done one, particularly invisible zips, once you've done one invisible zip, everything's going to have an invisible zip, whether it wants one or not. Um, I think it's just having a go for the first time, isn't it? Alice says she's going to take hers to a pro. I think I would do. To be honest, I've not really had the, the need to have scissors sharpened. I'm just going to press this away from the zip. Like so. Pop that down. So again, just move those, make it neat. Um, it doesn't really matter which way around these go, but the zip is trapped in between those two pieces. Then I'm just going to top stitch down e uh, each side and and so, have a look, um, Janet, for firm, firm fleece. I'm sure we've still got stock of it, but yeah, it's it's not called stiff if you if you put in firm. Just cut through. I, I don't know how it works, Christine, but if you just cut through tin foil, it's supposed to work, and it seems seems to do the trick. They say to use it for pins as well if you put it inside a pin cushion. Um, you can sharpen pins. I've not tried that one. Never had the need to sharpen pins, to be honest. I don't, don't ever remember a pin going blunt. Right, so we have this. And then I can move that slider out of the way and chop this. Oh, Janet feels my pain about the kitchen. So I just cut off the end of those. And I'm going to open the zip and fold this in half and take the inside part of the cover and just place that over the end like so. And we'll have a few pins to hold that in place. Wire wool for pins and sewing needles, that's the one, that's what you, you stick inside your um, your sewing machine, isn't it? Your sewing machine, inside your pin cushions, don't put them in your sewing machine. Um, oh Rita, that was funny, wasn't it? Yes, I, I did a, a, a video on YouTube of kind of outtakes with Bobbin as a puppy. <laughs> oh, so I'm just carrying on like you're not even there. And there we go. Is a firm fleece in the shop the same as the fleece that came in the bobbins? Yes, it is. It's exactly the same as that one, Alice. It's in half metre pieces. I'm just going to sew down the edge of this just to hold it in place. So within the seam allowance, quite close to the edge. And that'll help keep it all together while we can construct the rest of the little pouch. down this side. Can you have a chat so I can tell Darren sorry? <laughs> I wasn't sure anybody was actually sewing along with me. 
Um, but yes, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have a chat for a minute then. My husband would never use my fabric scissors for anything other than fabric. I would never use his kitchen knives for anything other than chopping food. Works perfectly. Um, extra zip pulls. That's, that's a good idea to the bitchy cut off iron, adding extra zip pulls to those so you can still use them. When, oh, will it be enough rain to turn the grass green? I hope so, Lois. My, my grass is a beautiful shade of gold at the moment. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, this fabric is um, Not Your Granny's Squares, I think it's called. It's on the website, on my website. Um, I will sew with Mrs C. Mrs C is sewing with me as well. Right, so we've got that. So that's created a pocket behind there. And then you've got your zip pocket as well. And I never even noticed that, Brenda. Fancy that. I've got buttons on my sleeves. There you go. Uh, where's the coffee this morning? Poor sir. <laughs> he has promised me coffee when he, when he left this morning after sorting my lighting out. He did say I'll pop back with the coffee in a bit. Um, I told, are we up to date, do we think? So you're going to be watching tomorrow. So Create and Craft tomorrow morning. I know I've been bashing on about this, but I'm a bit nervous. Um, on a Sunday morning, Create and Craft is a shopping channel, if you, if you want to wear or if you're not in the UK. And they sell all kinds of craft stuff. But on a Sunday morning, they have three or four hours dedicated just to sewing. So I came up with an idea a few years ago of having all of the sewing shows kind of all mashed together to create one long sewing show. And the reason I was thinking about it is that um, all of these sewing guests sit in the green room and more often than not they talk about sewing. And I thought it might be quite nice to just bring them in the studio, give them a cup of coffee. Uh, they're not getting coffee tomorrow. I don't think so. um, and chat so that everyone at home can join in as well. So we did, we did I think it was a four hour show when it was the old Create and Craft. And they got in touch with me a few weeks ago and said, would you come back and present um, Seamless Sunday again? Um, but it's going to be six hours. So we will start the show at seven o'clock tomorrow morning and we finish at one o'clock and the shows aren't an hour. All in is going to be watching. Thank you. And thank you, Fiona. Um, Dawn's going to be watching. Oh, lovely. A bit nervous. So um, they're not going to be one hour shows like they normally are. It'll be a 15 minute chat with everybody to start with. Martin Parker is going to be with me as well. He's kind of keeping everybody company in the green room. Then um, It'll be 25 minutes or so with um, Craft Cotton Company and their Christmas Peter Rabbit fabrics with Sarah Payne. And then I think we're going to, I can't remember, I don't remember where we're going next. Um, House of Alistair, he's going to be there with some dressmaking fabric. Then we will have a full hour dedicated to the Duke, which is the one day special, because they have to have a whole hour because it's a one day special. And then we might go back again to, oh, then we're going to have a little bit of furniture. My um, gnome kits are going to be back in stock there tomorrow and the beach hut and birdhouse panels are going to be back in stock there tomorrow i haven't got them on the website at the moment i may have if there's any left after tomorrow but at the moment they're going to be there so so women and men janet um so yeah then there's house of alistair again karen from seams beauty is going to be there she's got a gift pack of hand creams and the likes then we've got um stephanie waitman with some brand new panels from Lemon Lane, they're cushion panels, they're really nice actually. I think they're called First Prize, uh, really nice ones. Um, yes, you could, Margaret, absolutely use scrap fabric instead of the good fabric for the lining. Um, yeah, the thing is they don't repeat it, Jade, so I think once it's over, you can't go back and see it again, which is a bit of a shame. But we want it to be, well, I want it to be really interactive, so I've been asking you already, you can email, uh, email me if you like, or put a message on uh, Facebook, with any questions that you have for the guests. I've had some really funny ones in actually as well. I'm not going to tell you, but um, there's some quite nice questions coming in for them. Um, if you, Clarissa, if you, if you Google or go into your search engine and look for createandcraft.com, you can watch it on their website. Um, yes, yeah, so have, have a look on there. You, you will be able to watch it. I'm not sure if they're live on YouTube and Facebook. Um, I don't think so, but you can watch it on the website. And if you have a look on my Facebook page on a previous post, you'll see all of the channels there in the UK that you can watch them as well. Um, Sarah's going to be watching. It'll be fine, like I looked. I hope so. It's just been a few years since I've done anything like this. I love Seamless Sunday. I love the interaction of the guests with each other rather than just in their individual shows. I do love Martin. He'll be a star with you. I haven't spoken to him about it, to be honest. So I'm, hope I'm hoping he's looking forward to it. It's a long goal shift. <laughs> We've got Ed directing as well. Ed directed the very first one, and he's going to be doing the whole six hours. 
Don't know who's producing yet. Right. Are we, are we all caught up? So we've got that with the pocket. I should have done that the other way around, shouldn't I? Mm. So it was contrasting. Never mind. I've done it that way now. Then on this side, I'm going to do the, the remaining two piece, pocket pieces and just sew those two right sides together across the top. All right, so, and I'm using around about a quarter of an inch, oh, no, I'm not on that one, a uh, quarter of an inch seam allowance, although I do tend to use, I thought you weren't watching them, I do tend to use the edge of my sewing machine foot as the seam allowance, which is a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. And I've got that, then let's fold this over and I'll give that a quick press while we're here as well. You can buy products from their website. Um, they tend to only put the products live just before the show. So that may be why you're seeing no products in the show. They like to sell kind of live within the hour rather than in between. Um, so yeah, just, just keep checking. Last time I did a show there, in fact the first show that I did when I went back again, um, we sold out of, the, the show was on a, a thir Thursday, I can't remember, I think it was a Thursday, and they put all of the products live on the Monday and they all sold out on the Monday. So we had to scrap around and get more for the Thursday. So after that, they decided that they're only going to put the products live on the website just before the show. However, tomorrow is classed as one long show, not six separate shows, it's one long show. So I have a feeling that all of the products will go live just before seven o'clock in the morning for the whole of the six hours. So if there's anything particular that you want, just saying, you know, gnome kit's back, panel's back. So that goes over the top of there. And then I'm just going to sew around the edge of that. Should have done that the other way, kicking myself for that. Have I got an unpicker? No, we'll, we'll, we'll let it go. We'll let it go. Shall we let it go? Yeah, we'll let it go. And then again, just sew around the edge there. Anna Fieldhouse's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday to you all. Right, down here. Julie Jones is going to record it. Jean's going to watch later. Hi, Jean. So again, just really close to the edge, so within the seam allowance, and so down this side. And snip. And... I have so many quick unpicks now, because Sheila sent me a load of them. And I don't know what I've done with them. I've put them somewhere safe. You know that drawer that you have where you put things to keep them safe? I think it's in there. Anyway. Well, it'll be that way around now. So, let's make the pocket to go on the front. So that's there like that. So I'm going to take the two long pieces and sew these the right side together. That's the thing, Alice. Socks. Put them in the sewing machine. Put them in the sewing machine. Put them in the washing machine together, and one comes out. What happens to the other sock? Hi, Lisa. Welcome along. Oh, that's a good idea, Kathleen. Velcro the Ripper. <laughs> Sounds like a mass murderer. Velcro the Ripper. But I could velcro that to my top. Actually, my forehead is probably the best place for it. And purple fangs. What's a, what's purple fangs? Don't know that one. And Tupperware lids. It's a good idea. Um, Lynn's late, late, late for a very important date. The safe drawer. Yes, it's one of those drawers. We, we, I think we all have those drawers, don't we? That have. Um, 
the keys in them from cars that you don't own anymore or the, the back door key from your last house and we've got one with skewers in it for some reason, just loads of loose skewers. And the only thing I use them for is to poke the rubbish out of the, uh, the vacuum cleaner when I empty it. Um, Carol's got a glass jar of odd socks in the laundry, <laughs> waiting for their partners to reappear. Yeah, Lid uh, Lois has got a good idea, she said, just to buy ten pairs all the same colour. And then when you get down to, get down to three socks, you buy ten more, that's a good idea. And calls it a mandrel. Oh, I, don't th I think, I, oh, let's do that one. Um, actually, I, no, um, you're right, most of the stuff in our drawers carries. I bet he's going through that drawer now just to check how much is in there of mine. Right, so just sewing across the top, just because it looks nice and neat. Hello, Lucia. Anyone listen to Audible? That's one of the questions that came in for the, um, um, the guest tomorrow. My favourite thing to do. I don't listen to any, complete silence. Gary sometimes has the TV on, it drives me by, but complete silence when I'm sewing. I prefer... Call mine frog, rip it, rip it. <laughs> so a long pocket's going to go over the outer side of the fabric that has the, the fleece on the back. And I'm just going to sew around the bottom three sides there. So we'll pop a bin in there. A runner. Oh, I could do with a runner. A purple thang is a multi-use tool. I can't live without it. Post corner stiletto bob. Oh, that sounds interesting. I have to have a look at those. And then I'm just going to sew around the bottom sides here. Leslie, I have a, um, a pa not a pattern, but there are instructions for a passport wallet in my So Brilliant, or is it Half Yard? Half Yard Bags and Purses. That's the only one I've done, I'm afraid. Why do you need to empty the vacuum? <laughs> so, because our house isn't absolutely spotless, actually. Um, Lois has sewing on YouTube on when I sew. She feels like she's friends. That's a nice idea, I suppose. Should I use my walking flop when I'm sewing with fleece? May help, Mary. I wouldn't go out and, and you know rush out and buy one if you don't have one. But if you have a walking flop, then that that. That could help. Coffee, dearest. Thank you. Don't ask them if they want one. You know what they're like. I thought you were on your own. <laughs> Why don't you make a tea cosy? A tea cosy? Well, a thingy. I've got thingies. Oh, right. Sandra made me two thingies. I just can't find them. You could make one of those thingies, though. I could make one, but I don't need to, because Sandra made me one. Giving me more work to do. Thank you. Brenda says hi. He's gone. Um, Jane's lost her purple thing somewhere in her sewing area. That, that's the thing, you, you, they're, they're, you know everything's here. It's here somewhere, you just don't know where. Um, it took out the top of my lungs. So I missed that one. Okay. So that's that with one big pocket. And then I'm just going to sew down the center of the pocket to make a dividing line. So let's fold this in half. And I'm just going to make a little snip in there. Socks going behind the rubber of the machine. Oh, I don't know about that one. I'm not heard of that. Depending on your... Oh, I'll tell him that, Geraldine. I didn't know you'd seen him. Uh, depending on your fabric, you could put a crease line down there. Mine doesn't tend to show up very well, so I've just put a little nick in the bottom there, just so that you can see what I'm doing. Let me just tidy up a little bit. Hello, Sandra in Bendigo, is that, in, Amer um, in Australia? The sewing machine isn't even better place for... Yes, it should be Velcro to the sewing machine. I may well do that. Um, OK, so... Straight down the side. You can make as many... Well, you could do another couple of pockets if you wanted to. Actually, I didn't need to do that. that, that don't do that. You don't need to do that now. If you wanted to make any dividing pockets here now, then you can do that. Don't worry about that one, because we'll do that afterwards. Um, but you could make two dividing pockets down this one if you wanted to. 
Right, now we can start putting this together. So those are my two bits. And let's take the ribbon. I haven't cut this down to size yet, I just cut it now. So I, don't, I can't remember what I said. Did I say 10 inches, something like that? Can't remember. Like so. And then this is going to go facing inwards at the bottom of the pocket. So the pocket's like that. We'll pin it. Oh, I'll tell her, Geraldine. Uh, Gerald, my daughter made a really lovely um, quilted jacket. No, it's not going there. Honestly, what are you playing at? On the centre of the side facing inwards. So you could measure that to make sure it is slap bang in the centre if you wish. I'll do that in just a second. Um, it's a ruler. So that's seven inches. That's exactly in the centre. So three and a half inches in. Three and a half inches in. And we'll have a pin in there. Any tips on how to stop the cat stealing your ribbon as you cut it? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what cats do. <laughs> Encourage them. It's funny. And then we'll just sew that in place just to hold it quite close to the edge again, just so we can take the pins out. And there we go. And then I'm just going to tuck these inside the pocket just to keep them out of the way while we sew the other pieces together. Catnip. Oh, yes, give it something more interesting. I've only ever had one cat that went crazy for catnip and he just, oh, he rolled in it and everything. Um, right, so these two pieces, right sides together. And then we're going to sew all the way around the edge, but leave a turning gap so we can turn it the right side out. And so now I'm going to do a slightly wider seam allowance on this bit because when you've got lots of layers together, like in the end here, it's, it's quite difficult to just make sure everything lines up perfectly, which of course it should do. Julie, it's not out yet. Um, yes, Kim has designed some, I can't remember what it's called, it's foraging uh, fabric with toasters and mushrooms and storybooks and everything, but it's not actually available at the moment. We do have some ordered. Um, I think it might even be October, I can't remember what she said. It's going to be a while yet. But as, as soon as it is in the country, we'll have it and we'll have it on the website. And we've, we've ordered lots because it's going to be really popular. Really proud of her. It's the most beautiful fabric. Uh, she's already onto a second range at the moment, which is just as nice. And then she's got some Christmas ideas as well. I'll be handing the reins over before too long, won't I? She's writing books. She, she's working on another one. She's doing the fabric. She runs the website. I don't need me. <laughs> Linda, that's, that about sums it up. Uh, talking about Kim, when are we going to be able to get our hands on a fabulous fabric? Yes, Sarah, as, as soon as we get it, as soon as we get it, you can have it. It is gorgeous. I love the patchwork one. That's my favourite one. Um, right, so again, just sew all the way around the edge. Don't forget the turning gap, because I can't find the on picker, so we'd be in trouble. Then we'll, if your seams are, uh, your seam allowances are a little bit chunky, you can cut those down to size now. <laughs> no, Lana. And there we go. And I'm going to just cut the bulk away from the corners. I'm just going to sew again inside that line because I look as I've got a little bit close to the edge there and that will come undone if there's any stress on it. So let's just go back over that again. Uh, 
Oh dear, you can't see what I'm doing there, can you? Are you running out of bobbin thread? No, it's because it's thick fabric. Because um, I've got all of the layers of fabric and I've got the wadding in there as well. Um, or the fusible fleece. So it, the, the needle tends to sound like it's banging a bit when you get thick fabrics like that. But no, I've got loads of bobbin thread. Then, oh hi Fee. Let's turn this the right side out. That's true, Mandy. She is camera shy. At the moment, we'll work on it. Kim's quilt jacket, I think Carol is on the Craft Cotton Company blog. So if you go to Craft Cotton Company, and I think they've got, a, I think they've got a search bar across the top, and uh, and it's on there. I don't know, Anne. We have sound here. It's it's you. It's you, Anne. Have no sound. We have sound. So let's push out the corners. Lost, lost me all for a second. So push these right out. And I know that's looking a little bit odd with a zip pocket like that, isn't it? So that needs to be flipped over. That's just what happened when I turned it inside out. All right, and then another press. Are we keeping up? Thank you, Grace. That's a load of clips fell on the floor. Right. Oh, Sarah, I'd miss you. I would miss you. Let's pull the ribbon out and then we'll just press here. Press the ends of the zip flat and fold the edges of the turning up under and just press over there as well. That's a purple thing. Is that a purple thing? That's a prim one. Um, right, and over that side. And yes, I'm going to switch the iron off. It's pigeon. Can you hear those, Sally? Yes, it's pigeons. We've got loads of pigeons in the garden. We're surrounded by um, trees and conifers. They're all, all they hang over. There's a big silver birch on this side as well. So there's there's so many birds in the garden. It's wonderful. Um, Oh, Mrs. C has to unpick. What you messed up? What what are you unpicking? Can I help with anything? Right, and then I'm going to top stitch all around the edge. Quite close to the edge, and I can lengthen the stitch a bit as well, so I've gone up to 2.8. And that'll close the opening, as I sew as well. This will sound like it's banging now, so do I mean, because there is a lot of fabric to sew through. You won't ever get a completely square corner when you're making things like this, but I'll get so as far into the corner as you can. Make sure the ribbon's pointing outwards. I was going to put a divider down there as well. And into the edge. She doesn't bother with the birds, to be honest. She gets very interested in the ducks. We have um, a duck pond in the village and particularly in mating season, they, they come over to Igor, we've got quite a big pond in the garden, and they come over in pairs and spend some time there. We did have ducklings this year as well, but I haven't seen those for a while. Um, that's the only time she shows any interest in them. I think she's just used to them. I love the blackbirds. We call them blackjack, but they're all blackjack. I'm sure there's more than one, but we call them all blackjack. Because they don't fly if they can help it, they run. And they run across the driveway, then they run back down the lawn. And they're, they're, I just think they're so funny. Um, old Mrs C, I'm not paying much attention myself, to be honest. Put the pocket on the wrong way around. Didn't put the dividing line in it. And then back down here. And do you go. A little bit of help underneath the zip, so I'm just pulling that very gently from the back. And I think we're back to the beginning again. 
Christine, they're, they're lovely and they're so, they're, they're kind of, sometimes they fly in and sometimes they just waddle down the driveway. They must, because they, they don't fly very often either. Um, they, they walk all the way through the village um, on the road a lot of the time. There are signs up saying beware ducks, like they're dangerous animals. And uh, they wander all the way down to come through the gates and then wander onto the, um, onto the pond. It's lovely. Um, so we've, we've got a, we've got bags of uh, duck food especially for them because we like to encourage that. Oh, Sally, that blackbirds have the most beautiful singing voice, don't they? They're related to thrushes, apparently. Um, Roger and Scylla Black... Oh, 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 that's nice. My dog thinks he can catch birds. I'm not sure what he would do with them as the friendliest dog ever, but has short legs and not, <laughs> not a chance of catching them. Right. Oh, Rita rescued a baby bird from a pool yesterday. Oh, was it okay? Oh. Right, so we're going to put the felt down the centre now. I'm just going to iron that felt because then I've switched the iron off. But I don't like creasy fabric. Oh, Jane. It's just been a long time, that's all. I haven't, haven't presented on my own like that. I, I know I did on Sewing Street, but this is it's a little bit different with so much going on and for so long. And a lot of the products I've not seen before. I, I, to be honest, I think that everyone thinks at Crate and Craft, oh, she's done it for years. But there are a lot of products on there that I've not seen before, so that's a bit... I can I talk about it when I've not seen it? So I should be there at silly o'clock in the morning prepping. Oh, let me show you what I'm doing. So the felt pieces that are going in the centre, I'm just creasing the centre of those. You could measure and mark if you've got a marking tool instead, and we'll do that with both of those. As long as you're there, Sheila, I shall, I shall just pretend I'm talking to you. Um, drop us an email if you get a second. Studio at createandcraft.com And then this is going to go in the centre of this, so... I can finger crease that. You probably won't be able to see that. But I can, it's right there. And then that goes over the top there. And that goes over the top there. Try and make sure that they're in the centre, so it's the same distance from the top and the bottom. And we'll pin that. A wagtail. Oh, I haven't seen a wagtail for a long time, Sally. Um, I get to be honestly impressed with the product. I hope I should be honestly impressed. <laughs> I'm a bit transparent if I'm not honestly impressed, but that's not a bad thing. And straight down the centre. So that is how the centre of the pocket gets divided on that side. So that's why there was no need to do that earlier on. When I said stop, and then we're done. So I could leave those in there actually, couldn't I? So you can have, I mean, there's loads of pages here as well. So you can have pins in one, needles, safety pins, glass head pins, flower head pins. You could put a dividing line down here. You need to do that when that pocket goes on. You can make two dividing lines, and that's an ideal kind of size for um, packets of sewing machine needles. If you're on the go and you want to store things like your clips, I wouldn't put them loose in there because they might fall out, but you can certainly clip those onto the side there. And then buttons, your clips in there, things that you don't want to fall out can go into the zip pocket. And I don't know what you're going to put in there. Your ribbons. And then pockets on the front that you can put pens in. Uh, again, on this one, I'd, I've, I've clipped clips onto it. And then that just fastens over with your ribbons. So it's a nice little kind of on the go set. But I also think that that would be nice as a gift because every household needs sewing things, whether you sew or whether you don't. There's always going to be repairs to do. There's always going to be, you know, safety pins that you need if your hems come down and you just want to tack it up or hold it up for now. Uh, every household needs pins and needles and I think that, that would make a really nice gift with all of those bits and bobs already in it. Or if it's somebody that's learning how to sew, a, a new sewer, 
then uh, that would make a, a nice gift for those. Or if you're selling them, you could sell them with bits and bobs in it and charge a little bit more for them as well. I think that would be a nice idea too. Yes, to take on your holly bobs would be a great idea. Your stitch ribbon. <laughs> See, my stitch ribbon was supposed to go in this one. Do you remember we made this one last month? But it's not in there. Um, and then I've got all of these boxes that I've made on YouTube and uh, they were to store things like my stitch ripper but they're full of anything but my stitch ripper. Rubbish. And then I made the one with the scalloped edges and I should have made a bigger one because that's just absolutely completely overflowing through bits and bobs. So I, I, I do have lots of things to keep me organ. I've still got this one as well. Little pin cushion that somebody made me. I'm so sorry I can't remember your name. Was it Anne? years and years and years ago but I hang on to things like that so more pin cushions down there to keep me organized then of course I've got this and not a seam ripper in any of them but there you go a manicure kit that's a nice idea do I have a sewing room I have several Deirdre um this is a nice place to sew when the weather's like this it's um let me see if I can show you it's a bit messy at the moment because I'm all full of props so that's what I see when I look at you um, you can't see that can you there you go oh hang on come unplugged why aren't you doing that not in there, not in there. just bear with me one second because that should all be plugged in and ready to go I showed you Bob earlier on that worked didn't it sorry about the blank screen oh there we go loose connection so that's what I see when I'm looking at you. That's my main camera. Um, the table at the bottom is where Kim does most of her sewing. So I do have shelves and shelves full of props and samples all over the place. That's you. Look, that's what I'm looking at when I look at the screens to you with all your comments and everything. Um, let's just move around a bit. Bobbin's got a blanket on the floor. She's not there at the moment. And sorry, I've got a loose connection. So that's. And then as I come to my right hand side, I've got more storage over there. That's my aircon unit. And all the, oh, that's going to be wobbly. The lighting. And that's my elbow. And then back round to the front there. So that's, that's my little area. So on a day like today when it's nice and sunny, this is a nice area to sew. And there's plenty of space in there with the blinds open. It's really nice and bright. So it, it's, if we're doing a photo shoot, then these are just all loads of props that we have. So it does look a little bit. Um, you did see a Christmas tree, Tina. Yes, it's a prop. <laughs> um, there's always something Christmassy going on all year round. So forever Christmas. With it. it is forever Christmas. It never goes away. Um, so yeah, it is a little bit cluttered at the moment. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking of showing you that else. I would have tidied up a little bit. But when we're in the middle of working and, and photographic shoots and everything, just everything comes out and fills the room. So yes, I sew in here sometimes. Um, Kim sews down here. Then I have quite a large sewing room. At, in fact, the, the front of the house is a, is a large sewing room. And I have, um, I have a cutting room as well. Because cutting is just, just as important as sewing. So there's, I, I, I'm lucky enough to have an area where I can have a huge cutting table and then a sewing area as well. But, you know, it's my job. It's what I do every day. So um, got to be done. Thank you, Bernadette. The birds and the church bells. It is a lovely village, to be honest. It's very quiet. There's more birds than there is traffic. Although at the moment they're harvesting. So... Um, there's more tractors than cars around at the moment. Um, Jane, thank you very much. I shall see you tomorrow morning. Oh, that sounds nice, Linda. So is at the kitchen table, seat six, long and big, lovely. You just, you just don't get to eat, that's the, that's the thing. It's nice to have an area where you don't have to put things away. Um, right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the little sew along. Michelle in Puerto Rico, thank you very much. Um, Refresh, come on. I just want to make sure I've caught up with everybody and I've just gone on the go slow. Um, Geraldine, thank you. My top is from Next, Mary. They d I think it's, is that one of the Morrison clothes? I can't remember, but it's Next. Um, that's all right, Sylvia. I thought you might like it. So, if you want to pop along to the Half Yard Sewing Club and join up, remember you do get your free month. Um, if you put the code WELCOME in capital letters in the coupon box when you go through to check out. Next month's project, which will be on Monday, are the two onesies. You'll have a video for that one because it's the main project. Halfway through the month, we're going to make a an outdoor stool, like a, a 
not a bean bag store, a poof, do they call them? We're going to make one of those. Haven't made it yet. So, um, yeah, so come along and join us if you like. Remember, you've got your three months so you can have a good old look around. Doesn't matter where in the world you are. The only thing you're going to need is access to a printer if we've got patterns for anything. Um, but that's it. So tomorrow morning, um, it will be Create and Craft. Uh, have a look at my Facebook page for the channels that you can see it on from 7 o'clock through to 1 o'clock. Otherwise, I should be back again on Wednesday afternoon at 4 o'clock and that'll be techniques, but I'm not sure what we're doing. I thought, I thought we might have a look at some different stitches and what you do with them. But I'm not sure yet, but I think that'll be a good idea. We'll do that one. Okay, thank you, Connie. Um, so again, I shall see you again on Wednesday. Do enjoy the rest of your weekend. If you are watching Create and Craft tomorrow, don't forget to drop us an email. If you've got any questions for guests, then let me know. And uh, thank you for joining me today. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.